Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and I'm going to start my usual Saturday prepping for the week. So what I did so far is took all these grapes off of the vine, put them in cold water here, and I'm going to let them soak in the water and vinegar mixture. It's about a quarter cup of vinegar. Let them soak there for two minutes. And then I have strawberries and lettuce. Okay, now that the two minutes up, I'm gonna drain them and rinse them. Okay, I poured those into a different colander so I can start on my strawberries. Oh, there's an iffy one. Okay, one out of the batch ain't bad, I guess. Again, I got cold water, about a quarter cup of vinegar, and I'm gonna let these soak for two minutes. Okay, this has been two minutes, a little over, so now I'm gonna drain and rinse these. Okay, get my smaller one doing strawberries. So now I like to not only clean them right away, but I like to get them cut up so we're more than likely to eat them. And the reason I soak them in a vinegar water solution is to kill bacteria that may be on them. And I store majority of my produce in glass containers. I've noticed that that helps keep stuff fresher for longer. Okay, strawberries are done. And now the grapes go in here. I always line them with the paper towel. And we just finished up all the grapes I bought last weekend. Those got eaten up before they went bad. So, try it again. Okay, now time for the lettuce. I always pull a couple outer leaves off. And whack the core. And pull that out. And then I chop it up and I'll leave a couple of leaves out again for sandwiches. And I like to chop my lettuce before I clean it. Start with that much in there. Give this a good rinse. And now we'll spin it dry. That's 
well over a half a cup of water. Another quick spin. A few more drops. Okay. Okay, another glass container. Sheet of paper towel. And these glass containers, I do believe they're members member mark that I got at Sam's Club. I love these things. All right, I'm just gonna finish off with this lettuce and then I'll bring you back. Okay, now it is time to make my granola bars for the next few weeks. So I need two cups of oats. This is a half a cup measure. And one cup of Rice Krispies. And then I'm going to sprinkle a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then to this bowl, I need three quarters of a cup of creamy peanut butter. I'm sure you could use chunky if you wanted to. <sighs> Three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. And then I need a half a cup of honey. And I'm going to put this in the bowl with the peanut butter. And now I'm going to put it in the microwave for 20 seconds, take it out and stir it. Put it in for another 20 seconds, take it out and stir it. And by that time, it's usually done. Okay, 40 seconds later, it's done. It's nice and creamy and easy to blend. That's all you need. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And give this a stir. Now I'm going to pour it over the cereal mixture. And 
going to give this a good stir. Get everything coated in that peanut butter honey mixture. Okay, now I'm going to add about a third cup of mini chocolate chips. I don't measure them, I just pour some in. And then I'm going to add some sliced almonds. couple tablespoons and some flaked coconut about a quarter cup and I'm going to stir this up real good Okay, now it's ready for the pan. So I have here about a 7 by 11 glass baking dish. And I'm going to line it with parchment paper. I always crinkle it up so it stays in the pan better. Now we're going to add this to the pan. And we're going to spread it out as evenly as we can. Gonna get my fingers wet so they don't stick. Okay. So that way I know that it's getting pretty even. Press down into the corners good. going to go in the refrigerator for a couple hours so they firm up and then I'll show you what I do with them after that. Okay now I'm going to fry up a pound of premium pork sausage and I am going to make some breakfast bagels. So I'm going to get this sausage fried up along with some onion and bell pepper. Got a little bit of red pepper here that I'll get diced up. the red bell pepper and some diced onion about a half an onion's worth and I need to scramble some eggs I have eight of these thin, thin bagels. I'm gonna make all these into breakfast sandwiches. So I'm gonna scramble up eight eggs. All right. 
Okay, my sausage is just about cooked. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Put a little bit of salt and pepper in these eggs. A little bit of milk. Maybe a quarter cup that was. I'm going to whisk these up, get them scrambled. I'm going to get some of that grease out. Doing the paper towel trick. about an 8 by 13 Just with some vegetable oil and go off the sides of it too because the eggs will rise okay I'm gonna lay down the pork sausage that out as evenly as possible. And we want some cheddar cheese on here too. I think I'll put it on top of the sausage. So maybe a cup's worth. I'm going to pour the scrambled eggs on here. And as soon as this oven is preheated to 350, these are going to go in and bake for maybe 30 minutes. And then I'm going to cool them completely, so I'll bring you back when I build the sandwiches. Okay, my eggs are just about done. I got my oven shut off. They're just sitting in there. So while they're finishing up, as you just saw, I'm just about out of chopped um, onions. And if you've been around here long enough, you know I like chopped onions in the fridge, ready to be used. So I'm going to run this under cold water. Seems to help stop the tearing. That should be good for the chopped onions. Keep them in a glass jar in the fridge. Or fajitas or whatever needs sliced onions. All right. Now 
my eggs should be ready to come out of the oven. Toothpick comes out clean. So now these are going to sit here and cool. So since I'm chopping, I'm going to get this last of the red bell pepper chopped up and put into the freezer. Alright, now I have my red bell pepper chopped and in the freezer for when I need it. Okay, while I wait for my eggs to cool down, I'm going to shred up this block of cheddar cheese. You just saw I finished off what I had shredded. This is one of those things I like having done in the refrigerator. So I don't have to do it after work. And I found a container of taco meat in the freezer so I won't have to cook that up after work when we have our beef taquitos. All these little things sure add up for during the work week. Sophie's down here getting cheese that falls. Want one? Yeah, there you go. All right, block of cheese shredded. So now I just have to wait for this eggs, egg mixture here to cool completely and my granola bars to firm up. And I will bring you back when I do those two things. Okay, my eggs have cooled. So now we'll make them into sandwiches. These are the thin everything bagel that I picked up at Aldi yesterday. I'm going to cut this down the middle. And then I'm going to get eight squares out of it. Hopefully these will come out of here. Oh, nice. And I'm going to wrap them in parchment paper. And put them in a freezer bag. And then I'll take them out of the freezer, one or two of them, the day before. We're going to want one so they can defrost in the refrigerator. And then I'll pop them in the microwave for 20, 30 seconds. And we'll have a good breakfast sandwich to eat, homemade. 
So I'm just going to get these done and then I'll bring you back when I do my granola bars. Okay, my granola bars have firmed up in the refrigerator. So now what I do with these is cut them down the middle. Cut them into six bars this way, so I get a total of 12, and this will last me for three weeks, and I have not had these go bad on me yet. I keep them in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator, and I always have them. And then wax paper. And a Ziploc bag. Okay, I'd like to thank you for spending this time in the kitchen with me. If you enjoy kitchen content like this, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!